Hey everyone, John here. Welcome back to another Topo Talk. It's been a few weeks since I've recorded one of these, but I've just been looking out for examples that I can share with you. And I think I found one while adding the details to the Indian Scout Bobba motorcycle I've been working on. And that's this USB port here. If we have a look at the reference image, you can see this is on the side of the odometer. And the little hinge lid here has this hole. So it's quite a sharp edged hole. And it's on this curved surface. Now, I'm yet to add the hole. And while mine isn't quite as curved, I think it's still going to be an effective example. So let's take a look at the different ways that we can do this. The first way will introduce a problem to the geometry. So that won't be quite as effective. But we'll follow that with a couple of more effective ways to do this. So if I just select those faces and I to inset, make that fairly small. And I'm going to use loop tools, circle, just like that. And extrude, just a little way down there. Select that loop, control B to bevel, and there we go. So now if we look at this under subdivision, the hole looks okay. But check this out. See how we've got these little dents in here? And that's because we have these poles right here and here on this leading edge. We do have them on this side as well. Not quite as obvious right here and not so bad here, but this is definitely obvious. And I know this is a tiny detail and you're probably never going to see it, but I think it's just good practice just to make sure you understand why this is happening and how you can avoid it. So what I'll do is I'll undo that. Now one way to do this better is to select one of these faces and I'm going to choose coplanar. Let's also shift G. And I'll just actually select this one. I'll do shift G and select coplanar. So there we go, got that selected. And if I inset that just to there, now that does sharpen this up, which I actually quite like. If you weren't allowed to sharpen that up because that's not how the actual object looked then you'd use the next technique but for this what I will probably do is go with this technique because I like that look a little better. Once we've got that done we can do the same as we did before and circle probably make it a little smaller like that. I don't really like it. I should have rotated it before. Just like that. And I could also do an inset just there. Should have done that before as well. Extrude. And again. And I probably would delete those faces anyway, because you'd never see those because the pin would be in there. But there's the hole looking good. And look at that edge. Perfect, because we've moved that pole away from that edge. So that works just right. So quite a nice solution. Look at it from a distance, you, you can just see that hole. I'd probably make it a little bit bigger anyway, it's probably a little too small. Right, so undo once more. So the next way is if we're not allowed to sharpen those edges, if we have to keep that curvature. And that actually will pick up some really nice reflections as well when this is made plastic when I've added the materials. And the way we can get a nice clean hole and not mess up this edge is to subdivide this. So currently it's at a subdivision level of two. I'm going to make that one and one, and I'm going to apply. And now you can see I've doubled the subdivision. And that's locked in that curvature. So now, once again, we can select these faces, inset, make it a bit bigger this time, and circle, and change the angle here, and inset, extrude, and I could probably just delete that this time. Just stick one more in here. And then add another subdivision surface modifier to a level of one. And there we go. 
So once again, we've avoided those lumps and bumps, and we've also got a nice sharp hole. So that's a really valid way of doing this as well, using a subdivision surface with a level of one and applying that and then adding further details to your model. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. Until next time, this is John. Have fun and enjoy your modeling.